Chapter A: Systems of Particles. Samples. Sample. In a uniform disk radius big R, there is a circle opening of radius small r. The distance between the two centers O and O prime is d. Find the position of the center of mass of these pieces. Now we see. If with one circle piece back inside, then we get the whole big circle. And this big circle, the center of mass is here, right? We put this one, is that orange of a frame. Okay. So we look at this small piece and that our piece are two particle. Their center of mass is MOXO plus M O prime, X O prime, over M O N primes. This is their position of their center of mass. Where is it? Okay. We see, if we put together, we know the center of mass should be there, equal to zero. All right? And then, we know the numerator should be zero. And the position I want to find x o equal to minus m o x m o prime x o prime over a c now we find out this one okay first m o prime this one is very easy pi small r square area multiplied by a thickness t this is the volume multiplied by a density this is the mass okay and the blue MO. MO is total pi big R square minus pi small r square. This is area multiplied by thickness and density. This is MO. And XO prime, we know that one is here, is D. Okay, just D. Okay, so we put these three numbers inside this one. I get XO easily. XO equal to minus R square D over big R square minus small R square. This minus is from this side. It's reasonable because on this side, let's have more pieces, right? How about the Y? By symmetry, you can see the one, the top and the bottom are symmetry. So it must be lying on X axis. In other words, Y com equal to zero. That's it. Sample. Find the center of mass for a semicircle of uniform thickness. Stop. We look at this one. It's symmetry up and down part. So we see by symmetry reason, y center of mass equal to zero. How about x? x comb cannot be in the center because it's not symmetry. And then we can Tail is a little bit smaller than half r, right? This left side have more mass. Okay. Now what we do, we look at this semicircle is composed of many straight strips. Look at this is represented all strips. The location is x. The width is dx. So the semiconductor. Uh, sorry, the semicircle can be looked at it composed of a lot of strips. The problem is this, these strips are not uniform. Their lengths are different. Okay? And then I say this X is represent all strips. When X equal to zero, is this kind of a strip. When X equal to R, is this kind of strip. A different X, we have different height represent different strips, right? Now, in this one, we see, what is the mass of this strip? That equal to its dx width, multiply, this is the y, 2y, this is the area, and multiply thickness t, and then density rho, we get it dm, right? Now, let's just see. x center mass equal to x dm, integration of m. This dm is the mass of this strip. Okay, what we do, 
we see that dm equal to its area. This area is witness a dx. Length is 2y, 2y dx. A thickness, a density, there's a dm. Okay? Yeah. Then, y, what is y? y is r square minus x square square root. This is 2y. Okay? And this m, m is the mass of this semicircle. Uh, equal to half pi r square area times t times rho. Then we put this one inside. We get a x com equal to x dm. This is a dm. 2 square root r square minus x square uh, dx t r c over m. Uh, we write it down. This is a dm. dm equals to 2 square root r square minus x square dx t rho. We integration from zero to r, and this m is its half pi r squared. So third area thickness is volume times rho. Okay, that's it. The last thing is we do the integration. Okay, now we see top t and rho cancel out. Okay, half move up, so we get this is. A, pi r square over 2 and then integration. This integration is not a bit hard. Okay. You see, you have dx x, so you move inside, become x square. You have x square, you have minus. So we just do some operation. Uh, we can get this, this integration minus d r square minus. This is a constant. We put it, it's no problem. Why? Because they are similar. So this integration actually is like square root z dz. It's very easy to find. It equal to z and a half square, a half power dz. Very easy to find this one. Whatever, x equal to 0 to r. So we get the answer. The answer is 4r over 3 pi. We'll look at this answer. 3 pi about 9, a little bit 9. 4 over 9 is smaller than 0.5. So it will be around here. We, we guessed it. Okay. Now, with this method, if we have, it's not semicircle, it's a part of the circle like this one. Can we do it? Yes. Only we change is starting from minus a to r. And this m is different. m is this area you have to calculate. Also, we can do this one. Uh, this is from A to R, okay? And M is different, okay? And uh, some question some st from students say, if you go to straight vertical, can I find a straight horizontal to do it? Sure, you can do that. You will get the same answer. Some hope. And think, a 4.5 kilogram dog standing on a 18 kilogram flat boat, the is distance d 6.1 meter from the shore. Then the dog walks 2.5 meters along the boat toward the shore and then stop. Assume no friction between the boat and the water. Find how far the dog is then from the shore. It 6.1 minus 2.4 not that simple. That's elementary school's question. Okay. We know that one. Uh, the system that boat and dock, they they are isolated. Okay, because there's no friction, so no force acting on the system, and they are closed system. So in this system, momentum can serve, right? P final equal to P initial equal to zero because at the beginning everything at rest. In this case, we know the center mass, velocity of center mass is zero. So we see the position center of mass is constant, it does not change. What is the location of center mass? By definition, 
if you're sick of my m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 m2 here m1 is the boat now it's a boat the boat in the ground this is a dog a dog in the ground see okay what we learn this alone is uh, it does not change so delta x com is zero what is delta we do the delta you get this one m b delta x b d plus m d delta x d g equal to zero and then when so the numerator equal to zero we get m d delta x d g minus m b delta x b d is what we want delta x d g is the is the displacement of dog in the ground that's what we want to find this one found and this one is the delta boat displacement in the ground we don't know what we what we know is the delta x dog boat so what we do uh, we try to use the relative uh, frame which is x dg as we learned before we separate this is for top this for bottom and in between in our case we put b the boat what does mean this mean the dog's position in the ground is equal to the dog's position in the boat plus the boat position in the ground and then we do the change what we have look at this one this one equal to this one and we this one is given the delta xv is 2.4 meters right the dog movement in the boat and this is the one that we're on the fine so we put this one inside then we get delta xd ground which is the displacement of dog in the ground is equal to displacement of dog in the boat this one we know 2.4 and we put everything in we get this one delta dg is 1.9 and then we know we know that this turns from the shore is 6.1 minus 1.4 is 4.2 meters sample a spring of constant k is connected at one end with a wall and at the other end with a block of mass big m which is on a rough horizontal plane as shown in the figure a bullet of mass small m is shot with speed v0 into the block and stays inside the spring is compressed and stopped momentarily at distance s move to s it stopped momentarily from its natural lens find a the mechanical energy loss during this process and b the coefficient of the kinetic friction mu between the block and the plate now let's look at it you have a friction initial kinetic energy and it compress the spring have potential energy so we should see the 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 heat produced by the friction the mu friction is mu n friction this is s that equal to half mv original kinetic energy minus the final kinetic energy it is a spring half k so in this way we can try find the energy loss yeah, that's right unfortunately this equation is not right we're missing something something missing beside the heat produced here by the friction we also have the heat produced when it collision this is a, after the collision these together stick together so this is a completely inelastic collision you have energy loss it, and which is what we want to find so this equation is not okay because this minus this also 
minus some heat produced equal to this. And what we do now, what we do is first we use the inelastic collision, the momentum concern. After it hit that, stick together, we see momentum conserved, it is M plus M, stick together V, equal to MV, initial momentum. From this equation, we can calculate the energy loss. What is the energy loss? Energy loss is original kinetic energy, minus, minus after hitting, they move together, their energy, okay, this, this time is V. So we put this V inside, we get delta V, okay? This is the percentage. Uh, we move this one, you get very, this is the energy loss, uh, energy loss. B, wanna find the friction coefficient. This is the key point, okay? And we have, once we have this one, then we know that thermal energy produced by friction is equal to the kinetic energy initial state minus the potential energy at the final state, right? This is the V, it's not original V0, it's V, okay? So we put V inside, uh, we put the V inside, and we know the mu is divided this one. We can get the mu. Sample, a ball of mass M hangs at the top of a car of mass big M through a light core of lens big L. I'll show you the figure. The ball is held so that the core is straight and horizontal, and then released from the rest in the position. Find the speed of the ball and the car when the ball just reached its lowest point. It looks like it's quite familiar. You see, ah, this is potential energy, this is kinetic energy. We get this one. You're wrong. Why is it wrong? Because this potential energy not only transferred to the kinetic energy of the small ball, but also the, the car is moving. Uh, so, so you have two parts. Okay? So what are the two parts? First, this system is closed system. It is a, is an isolated system. So no force involved because it's the smoothness. So we have linear momentum cancel. When at this point, mv plus this and big V equal to initial state momentum. Initial state momentum is zero, everything at rest, okay? And then we know that's when the potential energy, mgl, becomes two, one is kinetic energy of this ball, one is kinetic energy of this car. These two equations, I can get V, I can get this V, that's it. Sample, a ball of mass M with speed V is projected into the barrel of a spring gun of mass M, which is initially at rest on the frictionless surface. The ball stick in the barrel at the point of maximum compression of the spring. When you stick here, okay, they move together. Okay. No energy is lost in friction, no friction. Uh, what fraction of the initial kinetic energy of the ball is stored in the spring? And you see how ah, it's very simple. The kinetic energy becomes uh, becomes the spring. It's not right. What's wrong with that? Because when you collision with this one, they stick together. This is completely inelastic collision. So we have energy loss. What does not loss? No. Linear momentum cancel. Okay. So we have linear cancel. This tell us how much energy loss, because initially it half mv squared. After collision, something mechanic terms of heat, terms of sound, uh, terms the deterioration. Okay, so we get v is this v. Uh, this is energy conservation. And we put this one 
number V inside, we get the answer. The percentage is M over M plus big M.